tonight, we're going to demonstrate how to make models using ExoCAD from Trios Digital Impressions. So as you'll see, we'll open the ExoCAD um, software, click on the lab we're working with, and put in the patient's name, and then select the um, technician that'll be working on the case. In this case, it was myself. Uh, I collected myself, and I put in a couple notes. You don't need to do this, but it's fun to let us remember who what we're doing. So we're making models. We clicked on a tooth, and make it simple. Just click on adjacent tooth, hold down shift, and click on another tooth, and highlight all of them. The antagonist, same thing. Hold down shift, and click on another tooth. We're ready to go. Click on material or scan mode, digital impression scan. Hit save, and then we're on to creating a model. Um, it'll think here for a minute and pull up the CAD design. And once that is open, it will ask you to find the digital impressions in our software, our system. We go to the O drive and find the patient folder, find the patient's name as we've saved the digital impressions into their folder. Now in our office, we try to rename these to a certain format that will allow us to remember what it is. So it's basically 01 Trios digital impression and the date that impression was obtained. Um, once that is ready, open that folder and follow the prompts. This is the upper left corner, says upper jaw scan, and then it says the lower jaw scan. So we add those. Now it takes you through the wizard, which we pick palatless model with occlusal plane, and you can auto align it if you'd like. You can also manipulate it to see if you'd like to adjust it at all. Uh, in this case, I think we will manipulate it, which you can move it up and down, right and left, hold control down and spin it around. Um, you can do quite a bit here in just a simple wizard mode. Um, in the expert mode, you can move things even more. But for now, we're pretty happy. We're going to move it up a little bit, and you'll notice the red lines on the models. We will want to get rid of those. That's just telling us there's 40 millimeters and those those scans have to fit within it so we're just increasing it to make our model base larger uh, there you don't see any red so we're pretty safe so we move on to next um, and you just will I like to say yes correct the orientation to what we just programmed in here you can go in and trim off any excess things you don't like in our office, we try to scan and gather as much anatomy as we possibly can. So we don't like to remove too much, just these random scraggly things. Um, it's easy, just left click, drag it uh, over any area you want. You'll highlight it, connect the dots again, go over and hit delete. You can do that anywhere, depending on what your model is. You don't necessarily need the palette in your model. So that's where you would select the area of the palette you wouldn't want and delete it. In this case, we want it. Um, you'll see here on the lingual um, some significant tori, and we decided just to leave that alone and go to next. Here, um, just hit next again. We're not doing anything important here. This is where you will change the parameters of your model. We like to hollow our models at 3.5 millimeter borders. You'll run that. It goes for quite a while. And finally, it'll generate a model. There you go. So we'll hit next and do the mandible. Same thing, go down and set your parameters to haul the model. Again, in our office, we choose 3.5 millimeters thickness, sometimes four. Uh, run it, again, it thinks it'll go to it here pretty soon. There you go, there's your model. The next button, go ahead and click it, and at this point, you will be able to put supports or structures or mounting plates, different things. In our case, we just we just print the models. We'll mount them separate. Um, I'm sure you can do more than that. But we're going to add names to it. So you go to text. Uh, one limitation is you have to retype it every time. So I just type it, usually patient's name and last name, and uh, the date we obtain the scan. I'll highlight it again, copy it, and then hit subtract test, text hit add text and put it on the model where I want. Now to do the maxillary one, we'll right click paste and add the text and place it where we want again. Now, all we need to do is push next 
it'll think again. It will make a negative imprint of the name of the patient of the models, and now you are done. And in our case, it is saved to a specific folder at, from which we can pull those models and load them into our printer.